good morning. It's wet and a bit gaily and the flood waters are rising and I've retreated to the porch door uh, of the church because it was the only place I could think to get a bit of shelter. But of course, it's locked and we can't get in. And why? Well, we're shut because of a pandemic and I feel a bit like a leper because I can't go in. It's also interesting for all of us at the moment feeling a bit like that, a bit like lepers. 2,000 years ago, uh, leprosy was untreatable. It meant that you were unclean and you couldn't enter uh, any of the religious buildings, you couldn't be uh, made clean or have your sins forgiven, you couldn't enter society and mix with other people, you couldn't earn a living. I wonder how many of us feel like that today. And I remember a few years back when I couldn't cross this threshold because I just felt that I couldn't. I didn't feel able to cross the door. I felt I'd done so many wrong things in my life that God wouldn't have me. And so there's two sides to our reading today. Jesus is approached by a leper and the leper says you can heal me if you want to and Jesus says of course I want to and he heals him and then he sends him off to go and rejoin society by being ritually cleansed through the priests at Jerusalem he gives the man back his place in society. He gives the man back forgiveness. He gives the man back the opportunity to take part in relating to God. So here we are today and we could take this two ways and I think we actually can. Is Jesus for us today the, the people who created a vaccine to help us cope with a pandemic? The Oxford team have offered it for free to government, just at the cost of distribution and manufacture. They're not making a profit out of it. They're doing it in order to try and keep the wheels on for society. But also we need to think about all the times that we feel like lepers. We feel that we are not right with God. We feel that we've done things wrong. And I remember the church door being open to me years ago. And the vicar saying, you know, church isn't for the healthy, it's for the people who need help. It's for the people who are ill. So if any of us today have that sense of not being right, of having done wrong and feeling that we can't engage with the world the way we'd want to, we simply have to ask. Jesus wants to bring us in. Jesus wants to work with the things we have done wrong, with the things that we feel guilt about, Jesus wants to cure us of whatever it is that ails us so that we can be fully who we can be in God's name. So let's give thanks for a vaccine, but let's also give thanks for the opportunity to meet Jesus. Amen.